Author Robin Sharma needs no introduction. From the monk who sold his Ferrari to the 5 a.m. club, his book, the latest one, is now one of the best sellers in India. He joins us on NDTV. Robin, thank you for speaking to us. Firstly, I'd like to ask you, you know, the journey from the monk who sold his Ferrari to the 5 a.m. club. Uh, give us an insight into this book and what you're attempting to do with this. The 5 a.m. Club is uh, this eccentric, inspirational roller coaster ride uh, that shares the morning routine of the great women and men of the world. There, it's a blend of neuroscience and philosophy on living a great life, along with some specific daily practical routines to help people be much more creative and much more productive. What's the best thing about, uh, you know, that you feel as an author? Uh, that you've, you've been able to do or the people that you've been able to influence th with the, with your writing? Well, you just hit the nail on the head. When I was growing up, my dad used to recite the words of Rabindranath Tagore. And uh, my dad used to say, when you were born, you cried while the world rejoiced. Live your life in such a way that when you die, the world cries while you rejoice. One of the chapters in the 5 a.m. club is set at the Taj Mahal. The whole chapter that explains how the great women and men of the world installed self-discipline and great habits is set at the Taj Mahal. So the Taj Mahal has influenced me. The philosophy of India has very much influenced me. What are the things that you would uh, caution people about? So there, there's a, a line in the 5 a.m. club, an addiction to distraction is the death of your creative production. And it's not just in India. If you look around the world, we see people who are not human beings anymore. They're cyber zombies. They're giving the best hours of their best days to this little white screen. And I say in the book, you can change the world and dominate your domain, or you can play with your phone all day. You don't get to do both. So my humble and respectful caution is use technology as a servant. Don't allow it to be your God. Otherwise, you'll probably get to the end of your career and the end of your life and say, you know, I played, a, I played with a lot of apps. I had a lot of likes on the social media, but I never really materialized my gifts and talents, and I never really made a difference in the world.